Welcome to our solar electric trailer journey. This week, we are working on the wiring of our solar system for our RV. But we're showing you what we're doing as we learn it. Um, our goal is really not to be the how-to people, but uh, we want to show you anyone can do this. If we can do it, anyone can. But at the same time, you'll, you'll, you'll learn a lot more from smarter other people. The first step is just connecting the solar panels. Yeah, so there are two fundamental ways to do this uh, and variations on the theme or combinations of the two, but we can either connect them in series or in parallel. We've decided to do it in series. Uh, the difference is uh, in series you connect uh, one to the next, positive to negative, uh, around essentially in a circle and then you uh, connect the end of those wires into your system, uh, to the battery, to the chargers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. In parallel, you would connect all of the panels independently, in parallel, into the system. So this is the uh, positive end of the uh, the connector, right? So this connector is the the positive connector coming off of one of the solar panels. Um, so it it. Uh, kind of a male presentation of a connector. And then what I'll hold up here, this is the uh, negative, uh, which has kind of a female presentation. Um, and this is what we will, uh, we'll, we'll connect these together, right? The positive and the negative. Uh, and they, they really are designed to go easily. So the first step is to start connecting these uh, like this. Okay, so I've got them, and you can see that uh, you just slide them together like that. And you hear the click, and then those are connected. So we've got the first two solar panels connected one to the next. Step one accomplished uh, for the first pair, and we'll do that for the rest of the uh, solar panels. One of the solar panels on our configuration is too far from the, the next in the series uh, for us to wire them with the wires that came up. So we're creating an extension uh, to reach between these two. Uh, and so we'll show you how we do that. The basic components for this extension are a length of 10 gauge wire, male and female ends to an MC4 connection, and the internal connectors. First, we strip the wire using wire cutters. We attach the little metal connectors to the wire ends using crimpers. Ironically, the little male connector goes inside the black female connector. The little female connector goes inside the black male connector. We disassemble each of the MC4 connectors and reassemble them over the end of the wire with the assigned inside connector. The extension is ready to use. Okay, at this stage, what we're trying to do is to connect this solar panel here to the one that's right here that the camera is sitting on. Let me see if I can show you. It's right there. Uh, and the two cables that uh, are on the solar panels don't, don't reach. Right? They're not long enough. So we built this extension cord uh, with the MC4 connectors to, to connect them. So we'll just, we'll just pop these connectors on. And we now have the, all of our solar panels are now connected to one another in series and we're ready for the next step. So the next step is getting the wires ready to go through the roof. Yeah, and then we got to punch a hole through the roof and run the wires into the RV. So here is the last unconnected negative end from one of the solar panels. And we'll just connect that end to the black wire using the MC4 connection. Just click that into place. There we go. 
So now we will click the, uh, this is the last positive that was unconnected, right? It's not connected to any of the other solar panels. And, and of course, you don't want to just connect all of them in a circle, right? You want to connect them into the RV. So the, there's going to be one positive, one negative left. Uh, so we're connecting the last positive. And so now we have a red cable and a black cable. Uh, on the roof, and these are long. They're about 20 feet long. I cut a little off the black end to make that extension cord, but these will run into the our little RV. And with our little RV, 20 feet will be more than enough. Now that we have the wires connected, we need to cut the hole that they will go through. We mark the precise location for the double cable entry gland, and then mark the center as the spot to drill the hole. Using our trusty old quarter drill, we drilled a one inch hole in the roof. So we've drilled the hole into the RV, into the roof. We now need to run the wires through the gland and then through the hole into the RV. We slipped the black negative cable through each of the components of the gland and into the hole in the roof, dropping the wire into the RV. Then we do the same for the red positive wire. We take care to get each piece of the gland in the proper order. So let me give you a quick close-up of this gland inside and out. You can see the wires. You saw how we assembled it. Uh, here's the inside. And it provides a pretty stable um, connection for all of those wires and, and good insulation against the weather. There's, uh, you know, rubber washers or grommets that, that will, should prevent that if we get it good and cinched up. Uh, and then we'll uh, seal that on here now. I'm going to use, you know, excessive amounts of, of tape. I'm going to use two-sided tape uh, under the gland. And then I'm going to use some roof tape around the outside to try and get it sealed on as much as possible. Before permanently attaching the gland to the roof, we tighten up all the hardware to keep water out. Then, we affix two-sided tape to the gland and stick it onto the roof. Next, we use roof seal tape to ensure that no water can get into the RV through the roof. We apply overlapping lengths on all four sides of the gland. Now you know how we did it. We encourage you to look for additional resources to find the best way to do it in your situation. Thanks for joining us. When we heard our rigging wouldn't be delivered until Christmas of 2023, we decided to see what we could tow with our Chevy Bolt. Launching our solar electric trailer journey. We have a lot to learn and we're sharing what we discover along the way. We've added solar panels to our A-Liner Scout pop-up trailer preparing us for doing the same on a bigger trailer when the Rivian arrives. Join us by subscribing now.